Anyway, my darlings, we're going to begin um, standing and then most of it is going to be down on the mat. OK, so we're just going to start standing and we're actually going to um, do a bit of a Qigong tree shake just to get for circulation flow. So standing quite wide stance, get a little little gentle jig in the knees and we're just going to flop our hands up and down. So just getting... A gentle bend in the elbow. Lovely. Just jigging and flopping arms. It's like a gentle pump motion to get that circulation going. Okay. <laughs> and start swinging them a little bit. Getting a nice warming in the shoulders a little bit, nice and gentle. Lovely, still gentle, gentle jigging. Your feet are nice and firmly planted and it's just something that's comfortable and easy to do. If you get kind of spasmy calves, then just shake them out, but they should be all right. You're just being really gentle. It's also um, juicing up the joints, as I like to say. Lovely, and start raising up the hands, it's doing a slightly bigger motion now. That's it. So it's just getting a nice flow, using those arms like a little pump <laughs> with a jig, jig, jig. <laughs> a belly dancer at this point would burst into a full shimmy. <laughs> okay, my friends, and now just do a little twist. Just nice and gentle, let the arms go all loose and floppy, let your arms feel heavy. Nice. <coughs> and also, obviously, I'm trying to keep warm. <laughs> it's a bit of a chilly day today, isn't it? Right, so that's just that's just to start getting things a bit fizzing, a bit fizzing. So if we start at the top of the mat, we're just going to do a few sun salutations as this is a morning practice. So, but it's going to be a really wide, generous one. So have your feet at least mat width apart and just sweep those arms up. And on an exhale, bring your elbows together, crunch in the belly and just fold gently, gently down. I quite like to cut my head as well and just let that be a bit supported. So you're resting your stomach, knees are really, really soft. Just resting your stomach between the thighs. And have a little bit of a sway down here. If you want to hold the elbows, have a little sway. Take some nice deep breaths. Lovely. Then if you're holding elbows, release them. Crunch in the belly. Do a little vertebrae restack all the way up nice and slowly. Head very last thing to raise. Adjust the hairstyle. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, my darlings, we'll do that again. Sweep in the arms up. Get a nice reach and then on an exhale, just really gentle, gentle fold in. Hold the head if that feels nice. Just going as low as your legs are comfortable. You can um, tentatively straighten one leg a bit and then the other just to start stretching the back of those legs. But be very gentle in the morning, just easing everything open. Nice and gentle. It doesn't matter if your hands are on the floor or on your thighs. Just have a sense of ease. Mm. Okay, my darlings, and now crunch in the belly and do another vertebrae restack. Slow, slow, slow. Head last to come up. Nice. So we'll do a couple of side stretches before we get down on the mat. Um, 
<coughs> and again, we'll just reach the arms up. If everyone's shoulders okay with being up, because if you get tight here, sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable. But just push your arms up, hold one wrist and very gently ease your ribs open. Just very, very gently. We're not going very far. It's all very tentative. You're just exploring, seeing what give there is and being really kind and gentle. Just finding a nice, sweet spot that you're just seeking all the time just to feel good. Okay, and then when that's enough, come up on a breath and on an exhale, hold the other wrist and gently start easing open those ribs, stretching into the thigh, top of the shoulders. You can have knees nice and soft, just want to feel grounded. Oh and then very gently and slowly coming up and we'll just cactus the arms so pull the elbows slowly back feel every crunchy bit in your shoulder really really slow hold that a moment and now on an exhale we're going to bring our elbows together and crunch in the belly so and blow the air out I can't see you at the moment, Alison. Right. Am I slightly out shot? Uh, no, I can, I can see another lady, but I can't see you. <laughs> oh, OK. Not to worry. It's, um, it's, yeah. it's probably the tile. When I speak, I should pop into a frame. Um, I think you can pin it, but I'm not sure. OK, that's fine. <laughs> Listen to my dulcet tones, darling. So, and once more, sweep those arms up. Exhale, pull the elbows down and behind like the gatepost. Get a nice stretch across the clavicle, the, the <laughs> two toes. What's clavicles, Maria? Collarbones. And then exhale, crunch the belly round and bring those forearms together like a little sandwich. So you're just curling up. If I go sideways, we're just in a, a nice curve and we're bringing the forearms together. And then on an inhale, we're expanding open, pulling open that chest. And on an exhale, crunch and curve it in and bring those forearms together. So you're trying to stretch the shoulders in both directions. Breathe in again. Pull those Press those elbows and forearms back to get a lovely stretch. And then on the exhale, draw in the stomach, bring those forearms together and round and feel the stretch over the upper back. And then reach it tall, lovely long tall stretch and bring the arms slowly down to the side. So we're going down onto the mats with grace and dignity. <laughs> And my favourite way of getting down, so if you come to the um, bottom end of your mat, we're going to start feeding our hands slowly down our legs. So keep the chin tucked, feed the hands slowly down. Start bending the knees until you can touch the floor with your hand and then just slowly crawl forward, lowering your knees to the floor. And... We're going to, um, is everyone able to see me? Yeah. No, I can't see you, You can't see me? No, I can see somebody's photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, that's Linda. <laughs> you remember Linda from Occult? Um, yes, it's, um, I'm in the top tile. Um, I think each time someone speaks, they're picture takes the foreground i think yeah. that's so we should all be in, on mute every time we copy something we? i think it's something like that i think you're able to press a pin button but um i've not successfully done that yet <laughs> oh right um uh, i just scrolled through the pictures and double tapped on ali oh there you go thank you maria double tap me girls <laughs> well, 
Well, it's on mute, uh, and that's fine. I'll be all right. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm in a provocative pose here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're doing a very um, organic kind of um, cat and cow. We're not going to just do a straight push up and flex because I think in the morning the spine needs a little bit more movement than that and we want to be really soft in those wrists so have really bent elbows come low down as you can so you're coming low so your elbows are almost touching the floor and then with the crown of your head push it down and then up so look ahead so you're getting a little arch in the back but only as much as your back is ready for and then on your exhale, start pulling up the stomach and start pushing your back so you're arching upwards with your chin tucked. And then keep moving so you're gradually lowering your bottom towards your heels, really slowly, feeling every movement. Just go as far as your body's comfortable. And then you again lower your forearms to the mat and then push the crown of your head forward until you're pressing up off the hands. Look up as much as your neck is comfortable. Crunch up the belly as you exhale. Push through those shoulders and then slowly lower. Really taking time to feel the stretch down the vertebrae and across the shoulders. And again, lower those elbows, push the crown of the head forward, press up, look up slightly. On the exhale, crunch up the belly, press through those shoulders and slowly, slowly, slowly start bringing your buttock towards your heels. In the direction of, it doesn't matter if they don't land, you're just trying to find a lovely stretch. We'll do that one more time. So lower those elbows to the floor, drive the crown of the head forward, shifting your weight over the hands. Start to raise the head to look up. And then on an exhale, crunch up the stomach, push through those shoulder blades, and then slowly lower all the way to the heels, keeping the chin tucked. And then walk your hands slowly, to your heels so that you're in a kneeling position. Now, if kneeling is not comfortable, this is time for cushions. So if your cushions are to hand, we'll all do this anyway because it feels really nice. Raise up and tuck a cushion on the back of your calves and then sit back down on it. So there's less stress at the back of the knee. Are we all are we all cushioned up under our derrieres? Yeah. Marvellous. Now with our other cushion, place it on your thighs at the front. And we're going to into a very restorative child's pose. So now start walking your fingertips forward on the mat. Let your belly rest into the cushion. And just keep walking those hands forward. Tuck your chin so you're no longer looking at screen. Just listen. <coughs> Tuck your chin. And if you can, tent your fingertips. So press the palms off the floor up onto the finger pads. And just feel a long stretch across the top of the shoulders. And take some nice deep breath. It doesn't matter if your bum's not near your heels, but I do find the cushion very comfortable. If the cushion annoys you, just take it away, but it is a nice, comfortable feeling if not. So breathe deeply, allow the muscles to soften on the out breath. And now we're gently going to walk those fingertips over to the left, just seeking a stretch down the right side of the body. So very gently, you're just walking 
those hands off the mat onto the floor until you feel a good stretch going down your right side. Keep looking down. If you want an extra, extra stretch, you can place the right hand on top of the left. <clears throat> and we're going to take three deep breaths in this, this side. And now gently Grim. walk. You all right? Grim. Can you sort the washing out? <laughs> <laughs> Start walking those hands back to centre. And then walk off the mat, trying to find that lovely point at which you think, yeah, that's the stretch all the way down from really the arm across the shoulder and down to the hip. So you're just walking your hands until you get to the sweet spot. And again, if you want to increase the stretch onto the left side, you can place the left hand on top of the right. But keep looking down, keep the head soft. Nice, and now gently, gently walk those fingertips back to centre and walk the hands towards your knees. So pressing yourself slowly back up onto the heels. Nice and slow. Roll out those shoulders. Lovely job. So place your cushions aside, but just gently come up off those for a moment. Is everybody okay on their knees? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, because not everybody likes being on their knees. So this is part of, we're going to do a very, very, very gentle camel. And first thing in the morning, it's not a good, it's, it's a very strong pose. And I don't think necessarily the body feels ready. But just this is all part of the chest opening. Um, very much because of, we're doing a lot of seated um, stuff. And I know Kath mentioned about, wanting um, to counteract all the ch sitting in the chair and the achy back. So we're doing um, counter positions. So just place your hands just above the booty um, and press your elbows together. Take a breath in and on an exhale, push your chest upwards. And if your neck allows it, you can look up too. So we're not sinking back. We're just getting a very subtle um, small back bend in the upper body. We're not tilting into the spine. We're just pinning our shoulder blades back and thrusting our chest up. Pull the abs in for some stability. Keep your gaze looking forward or if your neck allows it, you can start to look up a little. Try and breathe as smoothly as you can. Lovely, and then gently release those arms, roll it out a little bit, and we're going to come into a cross sled seated position. Now, I've had a knee injury, so what I find really comfortable is to sit on two cushions, and it, it opens out the hips a lot more, so it makes sitting cross legged a lot more comfortable. Is everyone all right with sitting cross legged? Yeah. Yeah. So as I said, it's quite nice um, being able to, uh, by being raised up, um, there's, there's more freedom in the hips. So you want to be quite relaxed because we're just going to work on our necks. 
um, because I've personally had a lot of issue with those. So it's in my mind that it's a beneficial thing for us all. And what we're going to do, is everybody comfortable? <laughs> we're going to push your chin forward and then slowly start to look down. So you're creating a little bit of extra length in the neck. And so we're just going to breathe, take a couple of breaths, just looking down, allowing the neck to stretch. Okay, now still looking down, we're going to start to turn our gaze. We're going to try and look at our shoulder. So you're looking down, but looking at the shoulder. So you're trying to get a stretch on the side and back of the neck. So looking downwards, but looking over to your shoulder. Okay, and now come back to centre, still looking down and gently start to look over your other shoulder, just as far as your neck allows. Try and keep your shoulders pulled down low. And if your neck doesn't want to go all the way, you just stop at the point that your neck allows. Try and breathe through it. And then gently come back to centre. And we're going to slowly raise our gaze, follow your nose to gently raise the head up. And then keep following the gaze, we're going to start to look up towards the ceiling. Again, just as far as your neck is comfortable, getting a nice throat stretch. And gently come back to look centre. This time we're going to allow our, our ear to go towards the same shoulder on the same side. And again, just as far as your neck is comfortable to go. Don't overstretch it. And with the opposite hand, you can push your hand away, maybe move it back. Just find a little bit of extra stretch down the side of that neck. Pause where it feels particularly tight. Nice. And then very slow. Use your hand on the same side to slowly press your head up. So you're not using your neck muscle you've just stretched. You're going to use your hand to press your head up so that there's no stress on that muscle you've just stretched. And we'll do the same the other side. So keep those shoulders rolled back and down. So you've got plenty of space in your neck joints. And slowly start to tilt your ear towards the opposite shoulder until you find the point at which it feels stretched. Do you all right, my, my loves? And again, if you want to increase the stretch, you can drive the heel of your hand on the opposite side to just see if you can find a little bit of extra stretch down that side of the neck. I like to waver my hands around and draw little circles, just trying to find where that extra tight area is. Using your breath to try and melt and soften away some of that tightness. Lovely, and again, use your hand to gently press that head back up to center. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So hopefully we're feeling, starting to feel a little bit more mobility. Um, if we're going to gently ease off our cushions now, but keep them handy because you might find in some uh, kneeling poses you might want the extra cushioning. Um, because what we're going to do, we're going to start opening our thighs, our hip flexors and our hip area. So if we twiddle round, come up to kneeling and carefully place one leg in front of you. So you want the knee 
ankle alignment, so it's a nice straight line. Um, and hands on hips. If you need a bit of extra padding under that support knee, then do, you know, grab the cushion or roll up the mat or something. But otherwise, draw, draw your arms upwards. Reach tall to the ceiling. So try now to push through your front foot and push through your shin on the back leg. So you're trying to drive your body upwards. Like you're trying to push yourself off the floor. That will help engage the hip flexors on the other leg. So keep pressing up. And on an exhale, start to bring those arms down. Reach forward. And we're going to lean our weight forward to press the hands behind us and pin those shoulders back. So you trying to find a little bit more stretch. Just go as far as your body allows. Press those shoulders back. Pin open that chest. Another few breaths and then we're going to come back up again. So press through the foot, press through the back shin and press up. So you're trying to drive your body above. That's it, push against the floor. And then on an exhale, slowly press those arms front. So you're reaching forward, reach those arms down towards the floor and then up so they're pinned behind like little wings. And just really pin those shoulders back and you're just coming forward as far as is comfortable to you. Try and keep a little bit of pelvic support there. So keep um, the belly pulled in to support that uh, lower spine. Nice. And then gently come up. Place one hand on the knee, the same side. Bring your other hand down to the floor. And we're going to just gently turn the chest towards the bent knee. So you're getting into a little bit of a twist. So you're just pressing open, applying very gentle pressure on the top of the knee of the thigh just to turn that chest for a little twist. Nice. And then gently push yourself up again through your feet. And we're going to just try and stretch the front leg. You don't have to straighten it, you can keep a bend, but just trying to get a little bit more ease in the back leg. And you can put your hands down or you can use your cushions to bring the floor closer to you for your hands. And it doesn't matter how bent the knee is, you just find how much stretch you can find. I like to flex and then point my toes to get a nice stretch both at the back of the leg and then at the top of my foot and around the ankle area. So just moving it, especially in the morning, um, long static holds aren't necessarily beneficial if your muscles are still quite cold. Um, and it's not just the muscles, it's all the fascia around the muscles, it's the connective tissue which can be quite rigid. So it's better to do gentle easing into movements than any kind of long holds. And when we're done with that, my darlings, come press yourself back up, bring the foot back, back into kneeling, link the fingers behind, roll the shoulders back and just get a little bit of a back stretch and a back arch, pull the belly button in, Tilt up the pelvis and just get a little stretch there. And we'll change side. So again, use cushions as you need. Um, again, just going to step the other foot forward now. <clears throat> again, knee over ankle oh. alignment. And just get settled in and put extra padding underneath the knee if that's what you need. And when we're all comfy, going to swing and reach those arms up above the head. And at the same time, 
push through that front foot, push through that back leg to squeeze and press yourself upwards. Maybe get a little bit of a pelvic tilt if that's accessible. And just reaching yourself tall. And then on an exhale, start bringing the hands down and forward. So it's sort of lunging forward, reach those arms forward. Start to swing them behind. Press them back, pin those shoulders back. So we're both stretching across the chest and also stretching your hip flexors. Nice, and then breathe in, sweep the arms forward and up as you shift your weight back. So you're driving yourself upwards, pressing against the floor as if you want to reach the ceiling, reaching as tall as you can, but try not to, um, but try and keep the shoulder blades pulled downwards, keeping everything open. And again, exhale, reach the arms forward. And then gently swing the arms down, behind, roll those shoulders back, really open that chest. Keep strong in the stomach to support that lower back. And release. And once more, we're going into our little twist. So you can use um, a cushion to bring your hand closer to the floor if that makes it easier. Resting the other hand on the the, the, the top of the, the, the thigh and just gently press into it in order to turn that chest to get a nice twist through that upper body. Breathing through it. One more breath. And gently come back, shift the weight back so you can gently start working on your hamstrings and your calves. So again, you can have your knee as bent as you like. You're just seeking a little bit of stretch, just trying to tease open those muscles, those connective tissue, just trying to gently wake it all up. And again, you can either hold um, and have a foot flexed or like me, you can just flex and point because that for me feels nice. But just find what feels good for you. Every time, every time I point, I get a lovely crack. <laughs> oh, I get cracks both ways. That's nice. Lovely, and then very slowly and gently bring that leg back. And we're is everybody okay still staying on knees for a little bit? Yes, yeah, we're all good. So, <clears throat> can everybody twiddle to the long side of their mat? Um, because we're going to do some lovely side stretching and we'll begin by putting one leg out to the side and gate pose so your toe and knee are aligned you're making a straight line which makes in it itself a nice inner leg stretch and that same arm on the same side drive it alongside your ear and start coming down on the hand now, again, you can use cushions to bring that floor closer to you. See what, and just drive the thing. So you're trying to make a straight line from your ankle to your fingertip. Just getting a delicious stretch. Now take some breaths. Now, if you are comfortable with your flexibility, you can also take another option or just hold it which is to get a little quad stretch by bending that knee and holding it um, by the ankle but only do that if that feels comfortable and oh. easily accessible if not don't even think about it just maintain a lovely strong stretch 
okay? And now use your waist muscles to squeeze yourself up. <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Roll those shoulders out. And we'll just gently do the other side. So draw that leg in. So let's do the other leg. <laughs> so coming up to kneeling. And for, hang on, did I do this leg last time? Can't remember. Yes. <laughs> yes, that sound, feels right. So <laughs> coming out the leg. Um, and again, toe and knee in alignment. And start especially if you've got your cushions ready, start driving your arm so it's in line with your ear to get that straight line. Um, and try and push equally down into the foot as you are pushing through the fingertips to get a lovely long stretch all the way down that side of the body using cushions if necessary or not. And try not to... Um, tighten up on the shoulder so try and roll that shoulder back and keep it empty try and keep space in the neck and shoulder area and if you want to go again for the um quad stretch option feel free mine is so tight so just taking a few more breaths in this position it's a strong move and then use, we're going to come up by using our, our waist muscles. So tighten up the core, push through the leg to come back up and bring those feet in. Lovely. Now we're going to do a floor level warrior. So what we're going to do is keep one foot kneeling, the other foot step forward so you've got that opening it's a really nice hip opener so you just find the distance that feels comfortable to you but you don't want to put have your knee overextending beyond the ankle and that in itself should feel quite a good hip opener a good stretch here and then breathe in I've got a wall just here so I'm just going to stroke that <laughs> Um, and then just come forward as we would in standard warrior. Okay, lovely. And doing reverse warrior. So bringing the back hand down the back leg and reach the other arm up for a little side stretch that way. Mm, that feels good. And then exhale, come back to center. Breathe in. And on an exhale, Rest your forearm on the thigh as you bring that top arm up as high as you can. Now try not to roll forward. It's better not to come too far forward but still have that shoulder pinned back so your chest is really turning and opening upwards. If it's more comfortable, feel free to tuck that hand behind the back so you can focus on pressing that shoulder back. It's often more comfortable than cramping up the neck so your forearm is leaning on that front knee and you're just gently pressing a little bit of pressure to turn that chest so it's a nice little twist as well okay and then just gently coming up out of that and swap sides so i'm shifting my knees over so just bring the other foot forward once again, you kind of want your heel lined up with your calf. Um, and in of itself, it can be quite a big hip opener. If it's too strong, just bring it in a lot more. Just find what is tolerable, what, what feels okay for your body. And then, whoo, I'm falling forward. <laughs> Breathe in and open those arms long and then shrug them back and down. So press those fingertips in opposite directions. I find the kneeling version of Warrior um, much stronger for the hip opening. Okay, so we're going to take our back hand down to our back leg. So breathe in, reach that arm. Just enjoying a little side stretch in that direction. You need to use your core to stop you toppling. <laughs> 
and on an exhale we're going to come back up keep those shoulders up open wide take a breath in and on an exhale place that forearm onto that front thigh and with the other hand flip and scoop and bring it upwards for a side stretch but also at the same time you're trying to turn your torso to get that subtle twist through the upper body or if it's more comfortable tuck that hand behind that back instead of reaching high just find what feels good for you Ooh, strong lovely and then gently gently bring that back we're now going to slowly roll onto our booty and I thought it's about time we did some core focused moves so you will definitely need one cushion and just scoot a little forward we're going to do a version of Navasana first of all and we're going to use a cushion and you can have it as it is or you can fold it over for a little bit more resistance and then place it between the thighs and that's going to help keep your um, knee hip alignment and push your fingertips towards the floor roll those shoulders back and just see if you can raise a foot keep the core muscles in but at the same time try and pressing that cushion together and you should feel it in those quads at the front as well and replace and then we'll do the other side so push yourself really tall so you're really sitting high on those sit bones and keep squeezing that cushion between the knees as you gently raise your other foot you should feel a lovely stretch down here really keep those abs in nice and strongly good and release we're going to do that again my friends so push yourself nice and tall squeeze in the stomach squeeze that cushion nice and strongly and just raise a foot and keep pulling in that core keep pulling in and release and other side keep that tall posture crunch those abs in and gently raise that foot but at the same time really crush that cushion between the knees so you're engaging all of this core area and building up strength I've got a bit of a shake on <laughs> and relief good right let's keep that principle same principle keep the cushion where it is we're going to do some nice stomach workouts now so slowly feed your spine down onto the mat yum 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 and arms alongside the mat um, pull in the stomach pull it down and then take your feet off the mat so your shins are parallel with the ceiling press those shoulders back and down against the mat pull your stomach muscles in and now in this position simply this on an exhale crush the cushion crush the cushion and pull the stomach muscle down really pulling it down so squeeze pressing the thighs as strongly as you can and pull the belly button down at the same time and if you can find it pull up the pelvic floor so you've got a whole pelvic lock going on just uh, crush it crush it crush it crush it crush it find the shakes if you can and release down for a moment lovely so we're going to do that all over again so my darlings start off pull that stomach muscle down as hard as you can take your feet off the mat so that your shins are parallel now if you want an extra challenge this time what you can do is start to push your legs towards straight until you find a shaking point if you've got a weird back <laughs> which so many have you can try tucking the hands under or using a cushion or simply not going for that option just do what feels right for your back 
either way you the more pressure you press between the against the cushion um, the strong workout you'll get so I'm now at a slightly shaky point just having my legs press forward like this but find what's good for you take a deep breath in and on an exhale squeeze that cushion crush it squeeze 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 and then pull the abs down at the same time really squeezing it down 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 and the more you squeeze those abs and pull up the pelvic floor the more your back presses nicely into the mat so squeeze and crush squeeze and crush just have that in your head every exhale squeeze and crush squeeze and crush lovely keep squeezing seeking that lovely shaking point squeeze 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 press 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 and gently release to the floor lovely nice so take actually keep keep the cushion still there we're going up into bridge pose so press your hands and arms down alongside the body and very slowly squeezing in that stomach tilt the pelvis and then slowly peel the vertebrae one at a time off the mat until you're as high as you're comfortable to go so this is a counter stretch for the stomach just to release and relax keep squeezing the cushion though so this also helps your knee alignment particularly when you're in bridge but keep squeezing it and then start drawing in your pelvic floor drawing it in and up use your belly muscles and squeeze it all again so we're now squeezing the same but in bridge pose so start pressing those thighs once more seeking the wibble wobbles that nice little shake if you can find it doesn't matter if not and keep your head if you can looking up to the ceiling so your neck stays aligned and just keep pressing and squeezing you can use those glutes now to squeeze it up press those hips building lovely strength in the pelvis and the back and the thighs and now we're going to slowly lower vertebrae by vertebrae really imprinting it into the mat take your time nice and slow oh slow 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 and let your sacrum slowly settle and release and relax and you're allowed now to take the cushion away oh that's lovely right my darling so we're going to ease out the lower back after that work and still with your feet in the same width just windscreen wiper very slowly let your knees flop one way and then slowly bring them the other way and what I like to do is at the same time as my knees flop one way I look one way and then as my knees change over I like to slowly roll my head to look the other way so I'm getting a neck stretch and a lower back stretch do these slowly on a breath we'll do a fair few because this is really nice for the lower back So we'll do a few more, my darlings. Oh. And then slowly bring those knees back to pointing up to the ceiling. So just um, adjust your pelvis get a little pelvic tuck and then just gently lower it down so your back feels fully supported by the ground and we're just going to do a figure of four stretch so that's crossing your right angle 
over your left knee and this is to start getting a stretch we're going to stretch the booty if you want now the important thing to me is that you're able to keep your shoulders flat to the mat so if you wanted to go deeper into this and to get more into the glutes you can take your other foot off the floor and start push, pushing your foot against your knee and your knee against your foot and you can start to really engage those muscles there is the option of reaching up and pulling forward, but I f feel it compromises here unless that's really, really easy and comfortable for you. So I think it personally, it's often better just to stop here. And by actively pressing the ankle against the top of just below the knee, just on the top of the thigh. So it's not joint on joint, but you're just pushing one against the other and that will really engage those muscles and you both strengthen and stretch at the same time so we just hold this for a bit longer pull in your abs as a little bit as well if it all because sometimes I find tightening everything and bringing all the power in the area really helps and then slowly lower that down now with don't take your ankle off yet just let your knees flop to one side, just as far as you're comfortable for them to go. It might be that your foot lands on the floor, or it might be that that's too extreme, or you can completely uncross and just rest them. But we're going to stay in whatever position you're comfortable with um, for a nice spinal stretch. But try and keep your shoulders completely on the mat. <laughs> So it doesn't matter how far the knee flops over, it's important that the shoulders and the torso are flat to the mat. Okay, my darlings? And once you've found the level of twist that's right for you right now, turn and look in the opposite direction. You can also find the arms that feels good. It might feel just having them down by your side is nice. You might want to T-shape them to get a little bit more in the shoulders. Or the maximum shoulder one, if you're able to keep your shoulders flat and comfortable is to do a gold post arms. So find what's right for you. And we're going to hold this for a few breaths. Okay, my friends, so start to very gently bring your knees back to centre. We're going to have a little hug before we go to do the other side. And if you like, you can do a nice roll of the back, just guiding with your knees, slowly mashing that lower spine into the mat and change direction. I find especially mornings, oh, you really get quite, um, after the night before and all posture in the evening and what you're doing the day before, it's the best time for getting to those back muscles. So we're doing the same, but to the other side. So place the feet flat to the floor again. Now check cross ankle to just below the knee. And if that is sufficient, stay there. If you want to go further, take the foot off the mat and start pressing your ankle against the thigh and thigh against the ankle and really just as strongly as you feel you need to engage those muscles. Also pull the pelvic floor down so that the weight of the legs don't start arching that lower back. So if you pull back inwards with your stomach and your pelvic floor so that the pelvis bowl tilts upwards again, then you won't strain the back whilst you push strongly with your ankle against your thigh. So, and you don't have to push strongly. If you prefer just to rest and just enjoy a more gentle stretch, then, then please do. So we're going to use the breath again, taking it slowly. Shh. 
nice and gentle. <laughs> press, press, press. And gently lower that down. <laughs> Had a child trying to enter the room. How very dare she. And let those knees flop over just as far as you like. If you've got those cushions to hand, you might find you want to just tuck them under those knees so it's not such a strong pull. Just find what feels good for you. And again, find the arm position that feels right. Arms down, T-shape, cactus, just as long as those shoulders are comfortable and settled into the mat. And we're going to take some nice deep breaths and hold this for a few minutes. Not a few minutes. <laughs> a few breaths. A few breaths. Okay, my friends, slowly bring those knees back to centre, give it a little hug, and we'll do those rolls, gently massaging that lower spine into the floor. Do a few rolls one direction and then change direction. Lush. And now just gently walk those feet back onto the floor. So we're going to end in a Shavasana, um, but it's going to be slightly different and a meditation because we're going to do a supported fish pose because that is a brilliant uh, pose for counteracting a lot of seated. So it really helps open up the chest. And you'll need your cushions. So if you would like to very gently flop your knees to one side and slowly, 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 slowly press up, just so you can get your cushions and self sorted. So in fish pose, you a supported fish pose, you have the cushion going down between your shoulder blades. And that's just enough to gently open the chest um, and your head can either go fully onto the floor or you can put another cushion underneath the head so that the head is supported so find what feels right for you right now so line up get that cushion between those shoulder blades it's a very gentle supported chest opener i personally prefer my head to roll on the floor but just see what feels good for you and you just snuggle in until everything feels comfortable and you can either have your feet flat to the floor, you can extend them fully, which is probably the best way to completely um, give in to the, the pose and to really let it open you out. Or you can take butterfly if that feels comfortable and you want to start opening those hip joints. Just find what feels right to you, my darlings and get yourselves comfy and I'm going to talk you through a meditation and I'm going to get out of the pose and shift you closer to the computer so you can hear me more clearly all right friends but <laughs> I'm going to you're going to stay in a nice relaxed shavasana if you find that you don't want to be in fish pose, then just take the cushion away altogether or just find whatever end pose is going to feel good to you. Um, but I'm going to sit and come closer so you can hear the meditation more clearly. So, so my friends, we're going to begin so take a deep breath in and imagine a lovely golden sunshine light coming into the crown of your head. Hold it in your chest for a moment and then on your exhale, 
let it flow down into your feet and your toes and your ankles. Feel a lovely warmth spreading through into the maybe cold toes, but just relaxing, releasing all the tension around the ankles. Now going to draw another deep in breath of lovely warm sunshine into the crown of the head. Hold it into the chest a moment. And then on the exhale, let that warm sunshine rush down your thighs, around your knees and down into your calves and your shins. Feel zinging and glowing, feeling energised and relaxed. Take another deep in breath. Draw in through the crown some more sunshine. Hold it in your chest and on your exhale, breathe into your groin and into your lower spine, into your kidneys and your organs and just feel everything zinging and relaxing and warming. Draw in another deep breath of sunshine, draw it in through the head, hold it in the chest. And on the exhale, let it flood front down into your stomach and around your back and in the achy bits under the, the shoulder blades. Take another deep breath in of light. Lots of warm golden light, melting like butter, holding it in your chest. And on an exhale, letting it warm your heart, your chest, your back, your shoulders. And just feel the energy and the warmth and the softening. Take another deep breath in through the crown of the head. Hold that sunshine in your heart. And on an exhale, let it glide all the way down the arms, the top of the arms, the shoulders, into those elbows and the wrists. Draw in some more golden light. Hold it in the chest. And on an exhale, feel it glide and wash through your wrists your fingers, your hands, all around the joints. Take a breath in through the head. Beautiful golden light. And on an exhale, let it flood around your throat, around your neck, up over your scalp. Feel it glide and gush and relax your jaw any tension in your face and take a deep in breath of golden light. Hold it even longer in the chest. And on an exhale, just let your whole body feel bathed, warmed, energized, relaxed. And just hold that warm, glowing feeling in all your joints. Picture them all, all the tissues, all the muscles zinging, alive, full of energy. And now very, very, very gently start moving your fingers and your toes. Start gently rolling your head a little bit, waking up that neck. Start moving, tensing and releasing your legs, your arms. Start to get a little bit more movement and gently roll yourself very slowly onto your side. And take a moment, then press yourself ever so slowly, ever so slowly up into a seated pose. Hello, my darlings. So 
It's about to end. I hope you feel a little bit more stretched and ready for the day. And um, I look forward to seeing you, speaking to you all soon. I shall end here, my darlings, but you can continue in your pose if you wish.